I know, I shouldn't pick favorites, but today I'm gonna tell you what my favorites are. What's going on everybody, DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a great day. Today, we're gonna talk about my favorite equipment and my favorite things in Farming Simulator 19, halfway through 2019. I have 15 different things here, different mods, different groups of mods, different things put together. Uh, could be anything from a vehicle, to an implement, to a cell point, to a silo, to a house. That's right, even a house. Well, not really a house, it's a pair of chairs. But you guys know what I'm talking about. So today, I'm gonna tell you everything that is my favorite thing about Farming Simulator 19 so far. First up is the Amazon Condor 15001. This is a 15 meter direct drill, will do seed and fertilizer, and you can fast farm with it. What is not to like about this thing? It is the entire package. It does every single thing that you would want it to do. I'm gonna show it to you. You're gonna go into Cedars and it's gonna be right here. It's a base game thing. The only thing is it's $224,000. It's kind of expensive, but nonetheless, this thing is awesome. And in my mind, if you can fast farm with it, it's a little OP, and that's what I love about it. Kind of paired with that is the Horse Maestro SW24.75. This is an 18 meter planter. It's absolutely ridiculous. Again, it is OP in the planter world. It came with the Horse Pack, which is great. The Maestro SW2475, $169,000. What's not to like about that price tag right there? Does seed, does fertilizer, and it will go very fast. You can fast farm with this as well. A lot of people tell me, you know, the Great Plains will also do those things. Nope. No, it won't. Yes, it will fast farm. However, it will not fertilize. And at the extra 0.2 meters, I cannot justify that. And it's a horse. You guys know I love horse equipment. The next mods I am grouping together, there's four of them. This is the Auto Load Bales Pack. You can find these in baling technology and it's going to be the new one. So we got these updated not long ago. We have two auto load round and two auto load square. And you can take the choice of not using these as auto load and just using them as regular trailers, which is great. You could change main color and rim color on all of these as well as the main color right here. You can change the flatbed part of these as well. It's really cool. If you get the DPW 210 version, you could do 26 round bales or 24 square bales. However, if you do the DPW 180, you could do 30 round bales, but also 24 square bales. These things are great, super cheap. They look awesome. You can do some amazing customization. Chrome wheels, who doesn't like chrome wheels? Auto load, I mean, they have animations. What is not to like about this mod pack right here? It blows my mind that all it took was a little bit of complaining in our last big mod video saying, we don't have any John Deere tractor mods. Why do we not have John Deere tractor mods? Well, reason was they were in testing. We didn't even know it. We have since gotten the John Deere 8R and we've gotten the 9RT, both of which came from custom modding. These things are absolutely incredible. Go over to large tractors. Now, the 8R, we had that in game already. This is nothing new. However, the customization was what was new. The mud guards, we could change the mud guards up, the engine setup. Of course, the engine setup was exactly the same, but the wheel setup, we had little skinny narrows, narrows with weights, rear duels, which this look right here is a super common look. Singles in the front, duels in the back, all row crops all the way around. You could do the same thing right there, all 30 inch, and you could do floaters as well. This was huge because we've had a mod similar to this on PC since like December. But now all players can use these. By the way, every mod I'm showing you today is on PC and on console. Some more of my favorite equipment is the D754 truck pack. This can be used as a semi-truck or as a regular truck. You could put different things on the back, different implements. We've got all kinds of stuff. I mean, it's just kind of limitless. We can do anything from milk, seeds, fertilizer, crops, all kinds of stuff. You can put just about anything you can think of on here. Plus, it has a trailer hitch on the back. So you can pull more things behind it when you're using it. The power is small, don't get me wrong. It has a low horsepower, but the thing is, 
it's just a nice tractor and you can tell when you're going up a hill you're like come on baby let's go it's that kind of like oomph like i know you can do it and i'm rooting for you that's why I love this mod. One of the next things I want to talk about is the Homer Terra Variant DLC as a whole. This came with two new vehicles, things that we had never seen before, the 435. We've seen the 585 before. You can put whatever you want on the back of it. We've got like point five, five different implements, I think, four implements. But the Terra Variant 435, smaller version, it was only for slurry but it had a three-point hitch on the back. So anything that had a three-point, you could hook up to it. The great thing is about the 585, it's had a trailer hitch on the back. So anything that had a ball hitch, you could put on the back of this, which is really cool. It took both of these vehicles, put them together in one, and that's what we had in 17. But here in 19, we have two different versions, and I love both of these equally. Next on the list are the Lieber vehicles, the Telehandler and the Wheel Loader. They just redid these with patch 1.4. They gave them yellow or that, that kind of eh, yellow-orange wheel. I like it though, I really, really do like it. I've got these equipped with my favorite things to use on these, just the maxi shovel, and then right here, the silage fork on the side of this. But I have them customized the way I like as well. Unfortunately, with the telehandler, you cannot customize this any. It just comes as is. But I like the way it comes. It's a little slow. It's low on power. But it's phenomenal. I use this all the time in Farming Simulator 17. And the nostalgia of the Lieber telehandler is phenomenal. However, the wheel loader. I love these little floater-style chunky tires. And if they're not floater-style, I apologize. That's what they look like to me. Let's check this out. It's in wheel loaders right here, the Lieber mod. Wheel brands, what you want to do is you want to stay on trailer board and go over to wide tires. Oh, I love that. Of course, you can also get front twins with this and standard tires as well. And in Michelin's, you've got standard tires. Look at that. Looks great. Looks, I mean, this thing just looks really, really good. Price is extremely competitive with everything else. I mean, it's the cheapest one of them all. It has 155 horsepower, which is about 80 less than the rest of the ones we have in game. It was just as fast. So I don't understand. It's a great piece of kit. I love it. If you guys haven't used these, you've got to check them out. Rounding out the list of vehicles that I really like in Farming Simulator 19 is the Stroutman Vertimix 1702 FS Double and the Crone Big M450. Now each of these have their own place. This is a food mixer, a self-propelled food mixer that can also clean. So if you guys are giving your cows food, regardless of what you give them, they're going to spit out silage. This will pick up silage. You can fit silage in the back. Holds about 17,000 liters, which is great. This is this right here. This is why I made a mod of this, because this is invaluable. A driving, picking up food mixer. I like the Big M450 because I can go through and I can just mow and I can mow really, really fast. This stinks with workers. I got to be honest with you. It's terrible with workers, but what you could do, stick it all down, do center swath dropping and go fast. This will fast farm. If you guys were curious, do need to turn it on beforehand, but it will do fast farming. So you can mow as a 26, 24 miles an hour and do swath dropping at the same time. Phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal, and it's base game equipment. You don't have to download anything. This came with Farming Simulator 19. Go get it. First up with the placeables is the More Trees mod and the Lapacho tree. I use these all the time in the back of shots. So you can get like right here. Let's say I'm doing a, a thing about the Amazon cedar. I could take this picture and it gives it color. The Lapacho tree just pops with those pink leaves or branches, whatever you want to call them, flowers? Lapachos. <laughs> and then, of course, you've got all these other different kinds of trees as well. I love, love, love these trees. As a matter of fact, I have lined the entire area where we're doing our viewing and testing today in these trees with birch trees. So you could do all kinds of stuff with these. Go into decorations. They're going to be right there, almost right at the beginning. There's your Lapacho tree, and then you start with birch. You've got small, medium, large, extra large, way too big. You have a maple tree, a beech tree. You have palm trees, spruce, pine, and then I've got the placeable hedge in here as well. I really like this placeable hedge. You can put it wherever you want, line it up. It's real easy to make just a, an, a hedge, and it's solid, which is kind of cool. If you guys are trying to do a solid hedge, trying to keep me from driving through the map, 
you can do it that way. But I like the more trees mod. This is one of my favorite mods because you can make everything look so much better. The next mod on the list today should come as no surprise to anyone. This is the multi-filling station, the buy anything mod. That's what I'm talking about when I'm talking about the buy anything mod, the multi-filling station. Uh, this is edge gaming or edge modding. Let's check this out. So this is going to be in miscellaneous and it's going to be one of the very first mods right here. We have $10,000 for them. Uh, you get a silver version and a black version or a or kind of a onyx color almost, a bit darkish blue. Regardless, very good looking mod. You can pretty much buy anything except for sunflowers for some reason. I guess there's an issue with buying sunflowers, but this is probably my favorite mod in the entire game. I can do whatever I want, whenever I want. I have to pay for it. It's expensive, um, but it's, man, it's so easy. It's so worth it. And when seasons comes, it's gonna be so easy just to use this when you're getting started, at least to get moving. With Seasons, I do plan on playing a lot more realistic than I am now, uh, though we will still have our fun series. But again, this is my favorite mod, period. And this is gonna be hard to beat. Though I will say a close second, well, not close second, no, this is, it's, it's in the top 10 for sure, is Bell Cells. Yeah, Bell Cells. So this, you can sell any bell, any loose um, forge item, which is really cool. So this is a miscellaneous. We have three versions. We have the small, we have the long, and we have the double. The double is huge. I mean, look at the size of this thing compared. Wow. Yeah. This is a great mod. It is wonderful. You can sell just about whatever you want in there as far as forage stuff goes. Uh, silage bells, hay, grass, straw, anything of the sorts just like that. This is a cool mod. Plus, you have ways that you can get in here and you could store stuff. So if you've got it kind of placed like this, like I do, maybe you've got something you don't want people seeing. Maybe you've got something you don't want your viewers to see. <clears throat> I never do that. Uh, you could put it right there. Also has automatic lights, which again, so cool. Oh my goodness. I love this mod. Really, really awesome. The bell sells. Getting up there, we have the AJ Tech silo. So with this silo, you can actually build the darn thing right in front of your very eyes. All of the AJ Tech stuff, as a matter of fact, you can build right before your very eyes. Puts everything together, boom. Now you got it. Click there, open up, and you get trees coming through. <laughs> this is where you drop everything, and this is where you fill up. Super simple, super easy. Uh, these are located, of course, in silos, and just depending on how many silos you have installed will determine how far back you need to go. I believe we've got four of these, Yes, we do. We have the brown version, a white, we have a brick, and the American Barn Red. These will hold just about anything you can think of. Wheat, barley, canola, corn, oats, sunflowers, soybeans, potatoes, sugar beets, sugar cane, wood chips, grass, hay, straw, chaff, manure, <laughs> silage, TMR, and pig food. Oh, got them right. Been working on it. That is everything for $59,000 and 500,000 liters. Yeah. What do you guys think of that? That's cool. That is really, really cool. One of my favorite mods right here. Absolutely. I don't think I really need to talk about this one, do I? Um, I, I don't know how many there are here, but if you guys are like me, you probably have some corner of the map where you own like a $10,000 plot of land and there's like a bajillion of these. Just having fun. That's what this is all about. Making money and getting it for free. Yeah, the government subsidy sign. And last but not least today, this may come as a surprise, but it's the chairs, the deck chairs. Go up there. You're not tired. Of course I'm not. It's the middle of the day. Farmhouses, deck chair, $149. These are your house. If you guys are on this map, these right here are your house. For 149 bucks. You don't need a big house. You don't need a crazy thing. It was smaller than the government subsidy sign. It's absolutely crazy. I love these guys right here. Super awesome mods today. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. If you're not already, please subscribe. If you have any questions, drop those down in the comment section below and let me know what are your top mods for Farming Simulator 19. That being said, hope you have a great day and we will see you later. Peace.